Reborn Sun Wutian, aware of the danger of Dragon Ball, he began to embark on a different path from the original work, Nobita. Super Saiyan is definitely not the finish line, Super 2. Super 3. Super Red. Regardless of whether you are a legendary Super Saiyan, a demon like Buo, or a god of destruction, you can all fight with a unified fist. Main Characters Sun Wutian, Sun Wukong, Billis, Bidalai Keywords of the Novel Dragon Ball's Strongest Enlightenment Without Pop-Ups, Dragon Ball's Strongest Enlightenment Complete Collection Download, Dragon Ball's Strongest Enlightenment Latest Chapter Reading Dragon Ball Buo Chapter 1 I am Wutian. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Damn it, although time travel is a good thing, being a Dragon Ball is like a feather. On Bowsy Mountain, a boy with a pair of tender little hands resting on his head said, even if you come to Dragon Ball, it's okay. You can't cross over to become Sun Wukong, even if it's Vegeta. What kind of ghost is it to become Sun Wujian? The boy sat up with a look of displeasure as he cursed for the nth time. He had a crab head and a black long-sleeved shirt inside his orange practice suit. The protagonist of the Dragon Ball, Sun Wukong, was the leftover son of Sun Wufan in the Shaolin game, Sun Wutian. However, unlike the original Sun Wutian, the current Sun Wutian still retains the unique tale of the Sion people. Working for Mao is Sun Wutian, Sun Wutian smiled bitterly in his heart. Dragon Ball has beautiful women, but it can be used for chicken feathers. The first female character, Bulma, is Vegeta's wife, and her son is one year older than him. On the 18th, she met with Klin, the noseless man. The remaining Chi-Chi is still a mother, and Bidilai has been scheduled by her older brother. My heart is so tired, this world is full of malice. According to the plot, the demon Buo is about to appear. He is NND and has to face a boss that is spicy and awesome since he was born. As a newcomer from the beginner village, he has to face a full-level boss. It feels like I am the most difficult one among all the adventurers. Never mind, the world's top martial arts meeting is about to begin. At least before that, one must become a super too, otherwise they won't be able to survive. Sun Wutian stood up, his eyes fixed, and a golden flame rose. His golden hair and eyebrows, pale green pupils, and even his tail turned golden. Super Scion, according to legend, only one Scion is born in a thousand years, but now it's basically a Scion. Forget it, it's important to have a good life. Let's practice first. Sun Wutian gave a bitter smile and turned into a flowing light as he fled towards the distance. In the depths of an unknown mountain, Sun Wutian's golden aura dissipated, yet he still retained the appearance of a super Scion. Although it has been so long, Sun Wutian found that the anime he had watched before was still deeply remembered in his mind, which should be considered his golden finger. Sun Wutian still remembers that in order to break through the Super Scion 2, he must first adapt to the state of the Super Scion. As for why Dragon Ball Super Caliph can transform into Super 2 just after learning Super Scion, Sun Wutian feels that it is necessary for the plot. After all, at that time, the legendary Super Scion in The Legend of Kyle's transformation had an energy explosion, and no Super 2 could be stopped. Watching the theatrical version of Super Battle, you can see how strong the Super 2 is. Brawly alone defeated four Super Scion, and the power of this Super 2, which is comparable to the Super 2, is absolutely indescribable. Sun Wutian kept sweating under the sunset, doing his basic skills step by step. The reason why Vegeta has been unable to catch up with Sun Wukong is because her basic skills are not as solid as Sun Wukong's. Vegeta was born with a combat power of 1000, while Sun Wukong only has 2. Her high initial combat power makes Vegeta's vision very high and she disdains to do basic skills. But Sun Wukong only has 2, and he can only become stronger step by step. On the eve of the Shala game, Vegeta went on a crazy cultivation journey and developed the second form of the Super Scion, which had the power to hang and attack the second form of Shalu, but it was far inferior to the entire Shalu. 
Sun Wukong regarded the Super Scion as the norm for cultivation and developed the full power of the Super Scion. Although his combat power was still not comparable to that of Shalu, Shalu could not be as relaxed as he was with Vegeta. Ah, my brother is back. Sun Wutian, who had been sensing the situation at home, stopped practicing. Today was the day when Sun Wufan went to school to study, which made Sun Wutian feel a bit urgent. I remember that Broy appeared before the world's first martial arts meeting, and that guy, who was the same age as his father, was a crazy person who couldn't resist. Forget it, let's go back first, Sun Wu Tianyun danced with the technique of emptiness, stepping on the void and plundering towards his home. How about Wu Tian? His brother so handsome. Sun Wu Fan, dressed in the intellectually disabled clothes of Saya Superman, proudly displayed his clothes. Sun Wu Tian's mouth twitched slightly. I have a sentence that I wonder if you listen, brother. Not bad. Not bad, Sun Wu Tian forced a forced smile on his face, with a grin on his face, his mother selling criticism in his heart. Huh, it seemed that Sun Wu Fan didn't notice Sun Wu Tian's forced smile. He coquettishly put on various intellectually disabled poses, and Sun Wu Tian stepped back without leaving any trace. He was afraid that he would be unable to resist pulling out his 40 meter long sword while staying. Mudun, don't let the management know who taught the bad guy, otherwise they will catch him and count him clean if they don't take him out of the sky. In a large mountain thousands of miles away from Bowsey Mountain, within an ice covered circular lake, the sleeping man's eyelids seemed to move, and then it seemed like an illusion. 2. Daily Life You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In daily life, Sun Wufan leisurely runs away to become a Saya Superman, leaving Sun Wutian speechless for a while. People will think that you have taken his job, even though he has those intellectually disabled clothes, Sun Wufan was still discovered by Bidiri. Teach me how to fly, Biddy Lee revealed on the school rooftop, letting Sun Wufan guide her. Otherwise, I'll let everyone know the true identity of Saya Superman. I'm not good at teaching, I'm not good at it, Sun Wufan sweated profusely. Nima, this is nothing. Labor and management still need to study in practice. A smile of success appeared on Biddy Lee's lips, after all, flying is the dream of every human, especially without the need for any external force to fly out of thin air. That's settled then, Bidilai chuckled lightly. I'll go back and find you tomorrow. Sun Wufan looked bitter gourd on his face, what kind of thing is this? Oh, by the way, seem to be thinking of something, Bidilai said again, Wufanjin, I hope you will attend the world's first martial arts meeting in a month. The world's first martial arts association, Sun Wufan scratched his head in confusion. In his impression, there was no world's first martial arts association, but it was also true. Since the great battle between Sun Wukong and the great demon king Bike destroyed the venue, the organizers were afraid that such an event would happen again and had not been held. This time, it is estimated that they have emerged from the shadows. I remember the prize money for the first place was 10 million, said Biddy Lee, which made Sun Wufan frown. In recent years, his family has almost run out of money, and if he wins, he may be able to solve the urgent situation. Okay, I'll leave first, Sun Wufan changed into Saya Superman's attire and bid farewell to Biddy Lee with his body floating in the air. Sun Wufan did not go back directly, but took a detour and arrived at the Universal Capsule Company. I see, it's the best martial arts sect in the world, Bulma May's eyes flashed with memories as she turned to look at Sun Wufan. So Wufan, you're going to attend the martial arts sect. Do you want me to find a way to solve my identity problem? Yes, Auntie Bulma, Sun Wufan said. No problem, just make a slight change to the helmet, Burma chuckled lightly. This was not a problem for her genius girl, as Tnanks and Vegeta had just come out of the training room. Oh, Fernandez, Uncle Vegeta, Sun Wufan greeted them with a smile. Wufan, why are you here? asked Fernandez in confusion. Sun Wufan explained to them, and Vegeta snorted coldly, ignoring Sun Wufan. In his opinion, the goods on earth were not as good as his fist, 
and it was better to practice more for a while. He also saw that Sun Wufan's strength could no longer be compared to seven years ago. Compared to seven years ago, the current Wufan was 100% abused. The number one martial arts meeting in the world, I also want to participate, suddenly the familiar voice echoed in the air. Wu Kong. Dad. Carrot. Bulma, Sun Wufan, and Vegeta recognized the owner of the voice. Bulma and Sun Wufan looked happy, and Vegeta was shocked for a moment. Kakarot, why, you're interested in that martial arts? He he, yes, Sun Wukong's voice came again, this time with a silly smile. It's been a long time since we last met, and I miss you all. Moreover, I can return to the mortal world for a day, which happens to be a chance to meet you all. Dad, you really can come back, Sun Wufan said with a joyful expression on his face. Of course. Humph, okay, carrot. If you're going to attend that martial arts meeting, then I'll join too, Vegeta chuckled. Let's schedule our meeting on the day of the martial arts meeting, Sun Wukong said after making an agreement with him. Then I'll go back and tell mom the news first. See you all on the day of the martial arts meeting, Sun Wufan said, and an orange-yellow wrestling cloud descended from the sky, leading Sun Wufan towards Bowsy Mountain. Only Fernandez had a bewildered expression on his face. Who was the owner of that voice just now, and why did dad and mom behave like this? At night, on Bowsy Mountain. Nanny, a roar like a lion roaring from the east of the river echoed on Bowsy Mountain, and the deafening sound startled many birds that inhabited it. Wufan, what you said is true. Wukong really wants to come back, Chi Chi ignored the terrifying sound she had just made and excitedly grabbed onto Wufan. Sun Wufan nodded with an embarrassed smile on his face. Sun Wukong is coming back, and it's only been a few days. He silently destroys the food on the table. The day Sun Wukong returns is when the demon Buo breaks the seal. And there's that Broy who doesn't know where he is, damn it, the anime didn't introduce too much about Broy's location, otherwise I could have gone and killed Broy who was still asleep now. Sun Wutian thought this way, but suddenly was picked up by the excited Chi Chi. Speaking of which, Wu Tian hasn't seen his father yet, so he must be looking forward to it, he said, dot. Sun Wu Tian rolled his eyes and asked, please, as a traveler, how could I possibly not have seen Sun Wukong? He's even more familiar than you guys. Even if I don't know, I can guess it by looking in the mirror every day. However, Sun Wu Tian is still looking forward to meeting Sun Wukong, his current father, after all, the anime is still separated from the screen, so it would be better to have zero distance contact. In the glacier thousands of miles away, the man who was frozen unconsciously murmured, Ka. Ka. Ro, Te. If Sun Wutian knew it, he would definitely complain about it. Wamang, do you love my father so much and love him so deeply? Why don't you fly? 3. Brotherly Cultivation you are listening at NovelFull.audio. In the early morning, the sky was hazy and bright, with two shadows weaving through the jungle. All right, Wu Tian, that's it here, Sun Wufan stopped and greeted. Well, Sun Wu Tian also stopped and met Sun Wufan face dot to dot face. Sun Wufan picked up many stones around and drew a horizontal line not far away. Come on, Wu Tian, throw those stones at your brother, Sun Wufan. Who had already changed into a blue training suit, raised his hand towards Sun Wutian and transformed into a Super Saiyan human with a Tuan sound. Okay, Sun Wutian picked up a lot of stones and threw them lightly. The stones were thrown toward Sun Wufan like shells. Sun Wufan was shocked and dodged Sun Wutian's stones. The stones, which contained Sun Wutian's terrifying power, penetrated the small mountain behind Sun Wufan without any resistance, disappearing without a trace, leaving a stone-sized hole. Sun Wufan looked at Sun Wutian with a surprised expression on his face. You guys are going too far, right? If it weren't for brother hiding in time, he would have already revealed himself. Wait for Wutian, Sun Wufan said. 
Seeing that Sun Wutian still wanted to stop him, Sun Wutian chuckled inwardly. I was just doing the same level of force as Sun Wutian in the original work. Sun Wufan ran to the other side and drew a horizontal line, come on, Wutian. Here we go, Sun Wutian tentatively threw another one, and Sun Wufan easily dodged with a flick of his body. Sun Wutian chuckled lightly, his hands turning into shadows. Countless small stones mixed with greater force than before rushed towards Sun Wufan, all of which were dodged by him one by one. Sun Wutian no longer believed in evil and directly transformed into a super scion, greatly accelerating the speed of the stones. Nanny, Sun Wufan was surprised again and his movements couldn't help but pause. He was hit by many stones and asked in surprise, Wutian, how did you transform into a super scion? I used to know it when I was playing with Fernandez, Sun Wutian scratched his head, which gave Sun Wufan a blow in his heart. He thought about how much he had endured to transform into a super scion, but Sun Wutian easily learned it. It was so frustrating. However, Sun Wutian was also puzzled as to why the super scion turned into a rotten street during the Demon Buo chapter. Two children who had not experienced combat, Tenex and Sun Wutian, transformed into super scion without any pressure, while Sun Wukong and others had to endure all the hardships to transform. Even in the future, Tenex transformed through Sun Wufan's death stimulation. Can Super Scion people still inherit it? Well, Wu Tian, you're still a rival to your brother, Sun Wufan abandoned his original plan. Instead of doing basic cultivation like this, it's better for two people to practice faster, let alone the cultivation between Saya people. I'm here, brother, Sun Wu Tian chuckled as he leapt out like a spirit monkey, sweeping his leg and kicking Sun Wufan. Sun Wufan became alarmed and raised his hand to resist Sun Wutian's leg. Wow! The terrifying force on Sun Wutian's feet made Sun Wufan scream in pain, and his body couldn't help but be kicked out. Sun Wufan quickly used the technique of dancing in the air to stabilize his body. He underestimated Sun Wutian and overestimated his current self. Wutian is quite strong, Sun Wufan praised in his heart, borrowing strength from the air and rushing towards him, while Sun Wutian chased after him as he flew backwards. Sun Wutian waved his arms and smashed his fist at Sun Wufan like a shooting star in the picture. Sun Wufan also waved his arms to counterattack. Bomb! 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 Bang! The two of them turned into remnants, and the sound of collision echoed in the air. Every time they collided, there was a loud bang. The two of them fought until the sun hung high in the sky from early morning, and their stomachs protested continuously before stopping. Wu Tian, let's go home for dinner first, Sun Wufan suggested. Sun Wu Tian nodded, and the two of them used their dance technique to transform into a flowing light and fly home. However, just as they returned home, Sun Wufan looked at the extra things that had come out of his home and remembered what he had forgotten. Damn it, I forgot that Biddy Lee was coming, Sun Wufan covered his face, as if he had forgotten about it because his father was coming back. Sun Wutian looked at the plane in front of his house, then at his elder brother, and understood what had happened. He sighed in his heart, sigh, these few days I want to practice hard enough. Sun Wutian couldn't help but look at his older brother. I said, what are you afraid of as a super scion? Just some foolish earthlings. What are you afraid of? Even though you killed Shalu, a mentally disabled person picked up a peach. When is the peak of earth martial arts? The answer is that in the era when Sun Wukong and his companions existed, they destroyed the existence of the earth in minutes. However, due to Satan's intellectual disability, Everyone believed that Qi was a kind of illusion. Can the illusion make the earth shake? I really don't know what kind of expression those earthlings would have if they knew that Satan was just a slightly stronger guy than ordinary people. It's so exciting to think about it. Sun Wutian had already considered in his heart that he must expose the clown like mask of Satan. To be honest, what Sun Wutian disliked the most among the Dragon Balls was the lying Satan. He boasted loudly in front of the public, 
and when encountering someone who was hanging big, he would be intimidated, pretending to have stomach pain and being injured. Why don't you die? By the way, in the plot, it seems that at the world's top martial arts competition, the champion of the youth group can challenge Satan. Ah, this is a good opportunity. If the original work's author, Teresa Nanks, were to play harder, Satan, the world champion, would probably be cold. 4. Chi, Cultivation in Progress You are listening at NovelFull.audio. You're really not here to go on a date with Wu Fan, Chi Chi said at the door, staring at the beautiful girl in front of her with a skeptical expression. Bidalai glared back impatiently, I've already said no. Sun Wu Fan and the Sun Wu Tian brothers, who had just arrived home, happened to hear their conversation. Sun Wu Tian's lips twitched and he asked, Bidalai, is it really good for you to talk to your future mother in dot law like this? Biddy Li, sorry for being late, Sun Wu Fan scratched his head in embarrassment. He was too excited yesterday and forgot the agreement, then asked again, but how do you know my address? This kind of thing can be found out by checking it at school, said Biddy Li, who was so expressionless that Sun Wu Fan felt a bit embarrassed again. Sun Wu Tian stared at Bidalai for a few seconds and uttered a thunderous sentence, Brother, is she your girlfriend? How could it be, Bidalai said angrily with a red face. Oh, Sun Wu Tian nodded vaguely. At that same place, Sun Wu Fan began to teach Bidi Li how to practice dance and emptiness. Sun Wu Tian sat on a large stone with a dull expression, quietly watching Wu Fan pretend to be B and fly with the girl. The most important thing to practice Wukong art is to control Qi, Sun Wu Fan explained to Bidi Li bit by bit, but he forgot that Bidi Li didn't even know what Qi was and how to cultivate it. Qi, what is Qi? Bidi Li looked bewildered, making Sun Wu Fan, who was pretending to be forced, feel embarrassed and unsure how to explain. Well, like this, Sun Wu Tian sighed as he couldn't bear to watch. He opened his palm and a light blue energy qigong bullet, the size of his palm, shot away with a loud bang, flattening a small hill. Yes, like this, I don't know how you call it, Sun Wufan nodded in satisfaction. Trick, Bidalai said seriously. Sun Wufan's mouth twitched and said, it's not a trick, we didn't use any props here. How do I know? I'm not sure about things like magic like you, Bidalai exclaimed excitedly, causing Sun Wufan to feel embarrassed and then lost. Without that, is it really not possible? As Bidi Li approached, Sun Wufan seemed to smell the fragrance of a young girl on her body. Sun Wufan, who had never encountered such a thing before, blushed slightly. I said, can you take into account the feelings of others if you want to kiss? He interrupted the two of them who were about to kiss with his hand propping up his chin and staring at him with a dead fish eye. He understood that love is when his older brother is being fooled by other girls. Is Saya's emotional intelligence really low? The two of them were taken aback for a moment. They looked at each other who was close at hand, blushed and retreated. Sun Wufan blushed and said, Don't worry, Biddy Li. Everyone is angry, that's how the problem was guided. Upon hearing this sentence, Bidalai turned her worries into joy. Sun Wu Tian raised his eyebrows. Looking at all the works of Dragon Ball, the only one who actively flirts with girls is the original owner of their own body. Sun Wu Tian's mouth twitched wildly, and his parents got married because they were confused. It was ridiculous that when Chi Chi said, You come marry me, Sun Wukong mistakenly thought his wife was some delicious food and agreed. Vegeta and Brahmana are purely unmarried and pregnant. When they come to their senses and lie down, their sons will be able to make soy sauce. Alas, Sun Wuqian sighed, the emotional intelligence of the Sion people couldn't bear to look directly at them. However, on the other hand, I don't know if the Dragon Ball world I am currently in is Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball GT. If GT is okay, there will be more than a decade for obscene development. If it is super, I will go and wash myself off and destroy the divine horse, Sun Wutian thought to himself as he watched Sun Wufan teach Bidalai how to guide Qi out. Forget it, let's practice on our own. 
Sun Wutian stood up and said to Sun Wufan, Then, older brother, I'll practice on my own first. Oh, okay, Sun Wufan looked at Sun Wutian and then focused his gaze on Bidi Li. Sun Wutian's figure moved and he left here, stopping at a relatively distant place. With a tuan sound, he transformed into a super scion and practiced day after day, doing single finger push ups and even standing upside down. 399973999839999940000, Sun Wutian sweated profusely and switched to the index finger of his other hand when he reached 40,000. The asceticism continued, and when Bibi Dilly was able to proficiently use her chi, she also devoted herself to the cultivation of the dance technique. Meanwhile, Sun Wutian was also practicing alone, and the bottleneck of Super Scion 2 gradually showed signs of loosening. Until one day, Bidi Li was finally able to skillfully use the dance technique to soar freely in the air, and Sun Wufan was able to seriously cultivate. However, by this time, he was already far behind Sun Wutian, and Sun Wutian's strength was also very close to that of Sun Wufan seven years ago. He only had one chance to break through the anger of the Super Scion 2. Bomb. 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 After Bidi Li left, Sun Wutian and Sun Wufan's cultivation continued, and the Z warriors of that year were also practicing hard to prepare for the world's first martial arts association, including Vegeta, Klin, Tenex, Sun Wufan, Sun Wutian, and Sun Wukong who was still in heaven. Satan, who was foolish and lacking, sat on the sofa with his legs crossed, holding a cigar, as if he believed he had won and was not practicing, enjoying glory that did not belong to him. Don't worry, Biddy, no one in this world can win over your dad, he replied arrogantly to Biddy Lee's question Satan's arrogant tone never thought about the consequences if the person who killed Shalu started to care about himself. Fortunately, the person who killed Shalu was Sun Wufan. If it were for Vegeta, it would be a question whether Satan could survive until now. Biddy Lee left angrily, and she was also very helpless about this kind of father. 5. Broy. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. By the way, why bother running out to collect Dragon Balls while idle? Sun Wutian rolled his eyes and looked at the five-star Dragon Balls in his hand, saying to Tenex in front of him. Tenex excitedly took the Dragon Balls from Sun Wutian and put them in his backpack. There are five identical Dragon Balls in the bulging backpack. Don't you think this is fun, and you really want to see what a divine dragon looks like, right, said Fernandez, giving a reason that Sun Wutian couldn't refuse. It was obvious that Sun Wutian was also curious about how big the real divine dragon was. There's only one left, let's go, Wutian, Fernandez pressed the button on the Dragon Ball radar, found the position of the last Dragon Ball, and flew into the air, followed by Biddy Lee who came over out of curiosity. Sun Wutian gently shook his head and followed behind the two, feeling a bit familiar. Is it a certain theatrical version? Dragon Fist erupted, no, that theatrical version should have happened after the end of the Demon Buo incident. Sun Wukong has already been resurrected. Wucho, especially Broly Wucho. Sun Wutian frowned tightly and suddenly became frightened. TNND, isn't this, the battle of the two? I'll go, but I can't escape. Scratching his head, Sun Wutian could only accept this fact. However, in the original work, Broy remembered Sun Wukong's violent outburst because of Sun Wutian's crying. It's okay, as long as he doesn't cry. Feeling comforted in his heart, Sun Wutian followed Tenex and Bidilai to the place where the last dragon ball was located. Nah, can we summon that divine dragon in this way? Bidilai looked at Fernandez's shoulder bag with half a doubt. It's not wrong, that's exactly what my mother told me, Tenex confidently patted his chest and then looked at Sun Wutian with an uplifted expression. Wutian, if it were you, what would you wish for? Me, Sun Wutian scratched his head in confusion. If he wished, he really didn't know which toy to choose. If it were the original Sun Wutian, he would definitely want a toy, but now he has an adult mentality and doesn't know what to want. If it were me, I would like a castle made of cake, 
said Tanks himself with a hopeful expression, as if he had really seen a cake castle. Sun Wuqian's mouth twitched wildly. You must have gone to find the fourth empress. Well, let's get the dragon ball first, Sun Wuqian pointed to the dragon ball still in the bird's nest, feeling speechless. That's right. Bidilai and Tenanks rushed towards the bird's nest where the dragon ball was located at the same time. Sun Wuqian's lips curved upwards with a light smile, and he also rushed towards the dragon ball. After a flurry of cocks and dogs jumping, the dragon ball that was supposed to be in the hands of Fernandez bounced off again due to the collision between Bidiri and Fernandez. Hey, I said why did you suddenly run out? You blocked me over there. Sun Wutian helplessly covered his forehead, watching as he continued to shift the blame onto the other team, Tenex and Bidilai. This was probably the legendary pig teammate. Carrot. Suddenly, behind Sun Wutian, a gloomy voice rang out, causing his pupils to shrink sharply in his head to move back bit by bit like a machine. What caught the eye was a golden hedgehog head, yellow eyebrows, and pale green eyeballs. His robust muscles were exposed to the air, making him a handsome young man. Lying in bed, how did Broy come out? The management didn't cry and didn't say a word about how you ran out. Sun Wutian's face widened in fear, and his body trembled because he felt the pressure inside Broy's body, which came from his bloodline. Oh, who is this? The two of them in the argument naturally felt Broy's heart to hide anger. Fernandez also asked, Wu Tian, do you know him? Kakarot, Brawley's handsome face showed a hint of grimace, and he roared with a sudden heat and punched Sun Wu Tian away in fear. It hurts so much, this is how Sun Wu Tian feels now. It's like an ordinary person suddenly being hit by an iron car at high speed, and with a splash, Sun Wu Tian is thrown into the sea, causing a splash of water. Wu Tian, Fernandez looked at Sun Wutian with an unpleasant expression as he was thrown into the sea. He angrily looked at Broy and transformed into a super scion, attacking Broy. Wutian, Tenanx, Biddy Lee clenched her pink fists and released air bullets to attack Broy, but with Biddy Lee's power, these air bullets were just tickling Broy. So faint, Sun Wutian burst out of the sea, his golden aura boiling on him. Sun Wutian also joined the battle and faced Broy with Tenex. Bomb. Bomb. Touch. In the void, Fernandez and Sun Wutian attacked Brawley, and the fierce battle made the three of them feel a bit embarrassed. Broy seized the opportunity to shake the two apart. Carrot, Broy roared, and his breath suddenly began to surge. Terrifying energy was gradually being released from his body, and the whole earth was trembling. This aura is Broy, Sun Wufan, who was practicing, suddenly felt Broy's familiar aura. His eyes widened, and there was a hint of fear in his eyes. It was obvious that Broy was the most desperate opponent Sun Wufan had ever encountered from childhood to adulthood. He, Sun Wukong, Vegeta, and the four Super Scion people of the future Tenex, as well as the five Super Scion people of the bike level, all had no resistance under Broy's command. If they hadn't all given their aura to Sun Wukong in the end, their grave grass would have been ten meters high by now. Damn it, Sun Wufan cursed inwardly, boosting his energy and using his dance technique to escape towards the battlefield of Sun Wujian and others at the fastest speed. He thought that Broy had been killed by his father seven years ago, but unexpectedly, he didn't die and ran to earth. Wu Tian, Fernandez, Biddy Lee, you must not have anything to do, Sun Wufan gritted his gums and prayed in his heart. 6. Invincible Broy. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Roar. Broy frantically increased his strength, and the energy inside seemed endless. With a loud bang, Broy exploded, enveloped in a burst of green light. Waves rippled in the air, each passing one would change the color of heaven and earth, and the light would dissipate. Brawla's figure appeared in front of everyone. Muscle enlargement resembles the third form of the Super Scion, with a golden hedgehog head turning into sparkling green hair, pale yellow eyebrows turning white and pupils disappearing. 
coupled with its ferocious face, it resembles a demon crawling out of hell. Carrot, Brawley aimed at Sun Wutian and frantically released the green gas bomb in his hand. Oh no, hurry up, Fernandez, Sun Wutian shouted with his eyes wide open, staring intently at the incoming gas bomb. He controlled his body to dodge the gas bomb, and while standing with Sun Wutian, Fernandez couldn't help but dodge at the center of the gas bomb. I'll help you, Bitalai saw Sun Wutian and Tenanx surrounded by various gas bombs, their bodies rushing out to rescue them. Don't come over, don't come over, Sun Wutian saw that Biddy Lee wanted to approach and quickly spoke out to stop him. He could sense that the energy contained in each air bomb was enough to kill Biddy Lee. Bang! Just as Bitalai was approaching, a stray bullet hit her. At this moment, a tall figure caught her, and Bitalai struggled to open her eyes. What caught her eye was Sun Wufan's handsome face. Wufan. June, Bitalai just called out Sun Wufan's name and then fainted. Well, Broy stopped his movements and turned his gaze in confusion to Sun Wufan, who had put down Bidiri in his arms and stepped on the void. He saw Sun Wufan's face and roared angrily, Carrot. Broy, I didn't expect that you didn't die after your father knocked you down, Sun Wufan whispered to himself as he looked at Broy's appearance and transformed into a super scion. Carrot. Broy recalled Sun Wukong, who was still in clinical practice on the planet Vegeta, as if he could still hear his crying at that time. Memories turned to the scene seven years ago, when Sun Wukong, who received a brief boost in combat power from Vegeta and others, defeated him with a single punch, and could no longer control his anger. Carrot. Broy roared in anger, his body swiftly rushing out like a shell towards Sun Wufan. Sun Wufan frowned and his hands kept blocking Broy's attack. Touch. 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 When each of their collisions left ripples in the air, Brawley seized the opportunity and swiftly came behind Sun Wufan, grabbing his arms with both hands and stretching them backwards, while his knees pressed against Sun Wufan's back. Ah ah ah. Sun Wufan was in unbearable pain, and at the same time, he was very unwilling in his heart. If he still had the same power as seven years ago, the power to eliminate Shalu, drink it, X2. Sun Wutian and Tenek saw Sun Wufan's current situation, their arms stretched out, and two Qigong waves shot out from their palms. Hmm. It seemed to be sensing the Qigong waves of the two, and Broy just smiled grimly, unable to dodge or dodge, so he was hit straight by their energy. All right, we hit him, that monster, Fernandez proudly said. Fool, who made you force yourself to die now? No, not yet, Sun Wutian stared fixedly at the area covered by the light smoke, his face turning ugly. You sense it, that guy's anger hasn't diminished at all. Nanny. Fernandez looked over in surprise, and the light smoke dissipated. Brawla stood there and scathed, but the torture of Sun Wufan stopped. He. He's just a monster, said Fernandez in great fear. He he, Brawla sneered and let go of Sun Wufan. Sun Wufan, who had fainted, had no strength to support him and changed back from his state as a super scion. Monster, no, I'm a demon, uh huh. The world was silent, with only Brawla's wild laughter echoing in the sky. This guy is a complete lunatic, Sun Wujian said awkwardly. Suddenly, Broy erupted and grabbed the throats of both of them, using his momentum to sprint and shatter stone pillars. Give it to me, go to hell, Carrot, Brawley shook his hands and threw Sun Wujian and Tenex into the rocky mountain. Cough cough cough, Sun Wujian struggled out of the pile of stones. Now he has returned to normal from being a super scion. It was really uncomfortable being caught by Broy just now. Turtle. Pie. Upon hearing the muffled sound behind him, Broy turned around and saw Sun Wufan's hands clasped in sepals around his waist, with a deep blue energy ball shining in his hand. Chi. Gong. Hee hee, Broy looked at Sun Wufan with disdainful eyes, as if he didn't take Sun Wufan seriously. Wave. After the energy had converged, Sun Wufan let out a loud roar, 
and the deep blue energy beam swept straight towards Broy. The deep blue energy beam seemed to tear the world in half. 7. Super 2, Eliminate Broy. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Bomb. The energy beam hit Broy, causing a burst of black smoke. Ha ha, ha ha. The turtle style Qigong wave just now almost released all of Sun Wufan's energy. Sun Wufan let go of his strength and lowered his hands, staring intently at the depths of the black smoke. Sun Wufan's face did not improve due to the turtle sec Qigong wave hitting Broy, but instead he stared at him very pale, because he knew very well that his previous strength could not cause any harm to Broy, otherwise he wouldn't have fought so hard seven years ago. Sure enough, the black smoke dissipated, and a bright green energy shield wrapped Broy inside. Broy's face still wore a rebellious smile, as if mocking Sun Wufan's overestimation. Now, it's really over, Dad. What should I do? Sun Wufan shouted reluctantly, transforming into a super scion and launching a new attack on Brawly. Brother. Sun Wutian clenched his fists and looked unwillingly at Sun Wufan's battle, then at his fallen companion, saying, Fernandez. I want strength. Wow, Sun Wufan was punched in the abdomen by Brawly, and the force made Sun Wufan vomit bitter water. I want strength. Ah, uh, Broy stepped on Sun Wufan's chest, and Sun Wufan let out a scream, coughing up a mouthful of blood. I want strength. Broy stepped on Sun Wufan's chest again, causing him to cough up a mouthful of blood. The repeated steps made the ground crack like a crack, with spider web like cracks spreading everywhere and the ground gradually collapsing. Watching Sun Wufan being trampled on like this, Sun Wutian hated himself for being weak, and all his unwillingness and anger turned into power and unleashed them crazily. I want it, power. Sun Wutian roared up to the sky, as if something had shattered inside his body. Terrifying power kept emerging, and Broy felt the change in Sun Wutian, unable to help but retract the foot that had stepped on Sun Wutian's chest. Ah ah ah. Sun Wutian roared like thunder, and the flames that were originally wrapped around him by the Super Scion erupted in a jet-like manner. There were threads of electrical turbulence around him, and only a few bangs were left on his forehead. All the other golden hair was upside down, and his eyes were sharp as he gazed at Brawley. Anger towards one's own weakness and unwillingness towards one's own weakness have broken the bottleneck in front of Sun Wutian, completing further transformation and surpassing the power of Super Scion, Super Scion 2. Ha ha ha, Sun Wutian's sudden increase in strength not only did not make Broy afraid, but instead laughed like a child who had received some interesting toy, making Broy have an impulse to destroy Sun Wutian. Carrot. Broy let out a loud roar, his green fighting spirit boiling, and his body shot out like a rocket, rushing towards Sun Wutian. Broy, don't think you'll leave alive today, Sun Wutian stared coldly at Broy and rushed towards him with the same body shape. Bang! The two elbows collided, and the deafening roar echoed through the sky and earth. There were even faint electric sparks in the area where the elbows collided. Touch! Sun Wutian's arm blocked Broy's leg sweep, and this time his strength was even stronger than before. Drink, Sun Wutian kicked Broy away and turned around empty-handed to give Broy another kick and kick him away. Ha ha ha. Brawly, who had been kicked away, quickly settled down and looked at Sun Wutian with a hint of eagerness in his eyes. The legendary Super Scion's aggressive personality began to emerge, waving his fists and unleashing a crazy blow at Sun Wutian. Sun Wutian refused to be outdone and responded to Broy's blow. Touch. 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 The air echoed with a roar, and even the clouds floating in the sky dispersed due to the force of the collision between the two. The strength of the two became stronger and stronger, but the difference in physical strength began to emerge. Sun Wutian began to show signs of exhaustion, while Berlish became more and more brave in battle. After all, Sun Wutian is only seven years old now, so his physical strength is naturally not comparable to that of adults. In addition, 
Sun Wutian did not transform into a Super 2 during his heyday, and his weakness began to emerge. Chao, the labor, capital, and physical strength cannot match him, Sun Wutian cursed inwardly. If it weren't for being just a child, he would definitely call Broy Grandpa today. Broy compressed an energy ball in his hand, and with one hand, Broy ejected it, gradually transforming the energy ball from Broy's palm into a huge energy ball. Nima. Sun Wutian felt a wave of lying in his heart, his hands in the shape of sepals, and a deep blue energy beam pushed out from his hand, turtle-style qigong wave. The huge green energy ball collides with the deep blue energy beam in the void, gradually eroding the deep blue energy and pushing it back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Sun Wutian increased his energy output, but it still didn't work. The energy was gradually pushed back. Wave. Behind Sun Wutian, another deep blue beam of light shone. Sun Wutian turned around and said, Brother. Wutian, don't relax, Sun Wufan shouted sternly with his pale green pupils fixed on the energy ball. Sun Wufan walked step by step with Sun Wuping, Wutian, release all your strength. Okay, Sun Wutian nodded. Ha ha ha, the two brothers shouted together, and the deep blue light beam suddenly surged, pushing the energy ball back. Ah, ah, ah. Broy was struck by the dual energy of the energy ball and the turtle-style qigong wave, and this person was overwhelmed by the energy, completely disappearing into this world. 8. The World's Top Martial Arts Sect You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Ha ha ha, there are so many people, Sun Wutian looked at the countless heads on the square with a dull expression. The world's number one martial arts club, which gathers numerous experts from all over the world, Sun Wutian looked at the contestants who were going to participate in the martial arts club with regret. It was really sad to be born in this era. Saya, Namexing, and awesome aliens were caught one after another, and even the more powerful earthlings were just a little stronger. Wukong hasn't appeared yet, and if you don't come, the registration deadline will be closed, Burma complained as she looked at her watch. Shu. Just as everyone was searching for Sun Wukong everywhere, a sound of breaking through the air rang out, and everyone's eyes turned to their back. A tall and familiar figure appeared out of thin air. Yaho! Sun Wukong appeared as if in a blink of an eye and greeted everyone. Long time no see, everyone, Sun Wukong grinned. Wukong, Xen. Since Sun Wukong appeared excited, Sun Wufan and Chi Chi rushed into his arms. Sun Wujian carefully looked at the man in front of him who was no different from him. Finally, I see you, the protagonist of this world, Sun Wukong. Sun Wujian muttered, but his voice was too low, and with everyone's attention focused on Sun Wukong, no one noticed the brilliance in Sun Wujian's eyes. It is more than one meter tall and has the same crab head as Sun Wujian. The orange martial arts suit has a blue short sleeve inside. The handsome face has always maintained a smile like a breeze. At first glance, it really doesn't seem to give people a hint of disgust. The only difference is the golden circle on Sun Wukong's head, representing the angel aura of Sun Wukong's death. Wu Tian, come and meet Dad quickly, Chi Chi said as she saw Sun Wu Tian still in a daze and patted his back. I'm also curious that this child looks like me. It turns out it's really my child. Ha ha ha. Everyone laughed when Sun Wukong suddenly made such a funny remark, and it didn't matter if Vegeta and Bike were paralyzed. Dad. Sun Wutian walked over to Sun Wukong and stared at him for a while, with a smile on his small face. Wow, it's the world champion Mr. Satan, just as Sun Wukong was about to say something a startled cry suddenly rang out. Suddenly, a crowd erupted, bypassing Sun Wukong and his companions as they rushed towards the entrance of the martial arts club. A middle-aged man with a gold belt tied around his waist and a white cloak, who looked very messy, was surrounded by everyone. He was the, savior of the world, Mr. Satan. He he, the savior of the world. Sun Wutian looked at Satan, who was very proud of being surrounded by everyone, and a cold light flashed in his eyes, 
but no one noticed. Let's go, let's go to the venue first, Bick said. Okay. A few people who were going to participate in the martial arts meeting entered the venue one after another. Sun Wukong, Sun Wutian, Saya Superman, Sun Wufan, Vegeta, Bike, Klin, number 18, and Tnanks accounted for almost half of the top 16. What made Sun Wutian and Tnanks the most upset was that there was a special youth group, which was really frustrating. But Klin, I didn't expect you to have hair, Sun Wukong said as he looked at Klin, who was originally bald and had hair. I've said I have hair, but staying now is only for a reason, Klin retorted. Hey, is that right? Sun Wukong said with a surprised expression as a beautiful figure walked past him. He instinctively looked over and was surprised again. Eighteen, aren't you eighteen? Did you just notice now, Baga, idiot, eighteen turned his head and sneered expressionlessly. How could the eighteenth be here? Baga. Eighteen looked down upon Sun Wukong again and continued walking. Klin blushed slightly and said, I got married to eighteen and we live with teacher Wu Tian, and we have already given birth to a daughter. Isn't she a robot? How could she still have children? Sun Wukong said with a look of, although I'm not a student, you can't deceive me. Before the 18th, it was also human, but it was modified by Dr. Gro, Klin retorted. Boxing equipment, testing a person's strength value, of course, only for ordinary people. Oh, 137, Mr. Satan hit 137, which is the highest value that has appeared now. The chubby host looked at the values on the boxer with an uplifted expression, and Satan coquettishly put out a few poses, giving Sun Wujian a familiar feeling. He lay down and said, how could my brother be so coquettish? It turns out it's all your Satan. Sun Wujian's gaze at Satan became even more displeased. Be sure to hang and hit hard. He can't take care of himself in the fight, absolutely. A burst of chicken flying and dog jumping, Sun Wukong and several others all scored around 200 points, making the host think that the machine was wrong. As a result, Vegeta exploded her boxer in a fit of rage, stunned by the surprised Biddy Lee who came over to take a look. Uncle Vegeta, well done. Sun Wutian gave Vegeta a thumbs up in his heart, is that right? Let these foolish earthlings know that this is truly amazing. I'm so miserable, Uncle Vegeta. Can't you wait for me to finish shooting and then you're exploding? Sun Wufan cried in his heart. The prediction that could have been easily made would have taken a lot of time. 9. Competition in the Youth Group You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Wu Tian is very upset, and so is Tenex. Nima Labor wants to fight adults and a group of children, isn't it bullying people? After Tenex quickly killed a blonde looking but actually a scumbag, it was Sun Wutian's turn. Ixai, be serious, don't be careless like your brother, a wealthy lady sitting next to Oolong shouted in her duck like voice. Wutian, take your hands lightly, Chi Chi, who was separated from Wulong and Boma, also encouraged Sun Wutian. However, she was afraid that Sun Wutian's hands would be too heavy and it would be boring before Tenex and Sun Wujian got to know each other. Che, why is my noble son competing with you guys who lack quality again? It's really unlucky, said Rich Ant, looking at Chi Chi reluctantly. Burma, who was standing beside him, sarcastically said with a smug expression, Oh, why is this silly kid so foolish? It turns out he's the younger brother of that silly kid, no wonder he's also so foolish. Don't expect miracles to happen again. If you clean up this kid in a little while, you'll know how powerful it is, retorted the wealthy aunt loudly. Sun Wutian yawned with a dull expression on his face, making it impossible for his opponent to keep up. Humph, this little one, with so many viewers, give him some color to see, the guy named Ixai looked contemptuously at Sun Wutian's short body and said disdainfully. Oh, this child. The blonde host stared at Sun Wutian's familiar face and hairstyle, and had an answer in his heart. Sun Wutian, oh, must be Sun Wukong's son. It's so similar. It's almost the same. 
the competition begins. As the host shouted, Ixai gestured and smiled proudly, you little devil, you have the courage to stand on this field. Take the move, kill the fist, Ixai's imposing punch hit Sun Wutian's face. So slow, this is Sun Wutian's only voice. Looking at this slow fist, Sun Wutian lightly pointed and blocked it. Oh, 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 Ixai felt a bit embarrassed when he saw his fist blocked. He then swept his leg towards Sun Wutian, who only lightly blocked it. It seems like there are two moves, said the wealthy lady with a confident expression as she lightly bounced the ground while exchanging legs. Oh, he he, Ixai needs to start playing seriously. Ha ha ha. Ixai shouted and punched Sun Wutian frantically with both fists. Sun Wutian sighed and said, Oh, it's not exciting. Sun Wutian suddenly punched and hit Ixai in the left eye, causing a black eye circle to appear. Ixai wobbled left and right. It feels a bit strange. Sun Wutian frowned and punched Ixai in the right eye, another panda eye. That's pretty good. Sun Wutian looked at the fallen Ixai with satisfaction. The black circles under Ixai's left and right aligned eyes looked much more balanced, so he clapped his hands and walked off the stage. The Ixai player lost consciousness, and Sun Wutian won. The host looked at Ixai and found that he had just fainted. He immediately announced that Sun Wutian had won. Lulu Lulu. With an incredulous expression on her face, Fudan Anti pouted and made a face at her with pride. Auntie pounced angrily at her and said, I can't bear it anymore. Auntie looked as if she was going to fight Burma desperately, but Chi Chi punched her unconscious and said, quiet for a while. The competition was very boring, mostly children fighting, and both Tanks and Sun Wutian were quick kills against their opponents. Finally, in the most crucial and final championship and runner-up final, Fernandez vs. Sun Wutian. Ladies and gentlemen, the final of the youth group championship is about to begin. Who will be the final winner, Fernandez and Sun Wutian? Both young players advanced to the final with an absolute advantage. It is worth mentioning that they are still good friends. The blonde host introduced Sun Wutian and Tenex, who were standing on the stage, that in the lounge, Satan sat on the sofa cross-legged smoking a cigar. He glanced at the infield members of the martial arts club and said nonchalantly, Oh, these two little ghosts are really amazing. This game will be very exciting, Mr. Satan might as well go and take a look, said the infielder wearing glasses. Okay, I'll go take a look. Anyway, I have to fight against the little guy who won the championship, Satan exhaled a puff of smoke. Finally waiting for a wonderful game, Clint said, placing his hands on the railing and watching the two people on the stage. Yeah. Sun Wufan, who hurriedly arrived, ran all the way to meet the crowd and said, We've been waiting for a long time, the preliminary round has just ended. Changing to a new machine is also so slow, Clint complained. They came at the right time, their game was just about to start, Sun Wukong smiled. The final of the world's top martial arts club's youth group is now starting. The two of them saluted each other as a sign of respect, then made gestures and looked at each other warily. Oh, this child, why are they so familiar? Satan stared at Sun Wutian's face and pinched his chin, reminiscing. Ha! Tuan! Sun Wutian's eyes fixed and he instantly transformed into a super scion, stunning everyone. Super Scion, Wu Tian, didn't you agree not to transform, Sun Wu Fan said angrily as he looked at Sun Wu Tian's transformation. Wow, Wu Tian can already transform into a Super Scion, Sun Wu Kong was shocked. His son, who was only seven years old, was able to transform into a Super Scion, which really scared him. 10. Fierce Battle, Sun Wu Tian vs. Tennessee You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Wu Tian, isn't Wu Fan preventing us from transforming? Why do you want to change, said Fernandez, crossing his waist. Sun Wu Tian smiled thought dot provoking at the corner of his mouth and said, you can also change, tanks. It's fun to fight like this, isn't it? That's also right. Fernandez nodded lightly, 
and his pale purple sister's head also transformed under his power. Wow, Fernandez can also transform into a super scion, Sun Wukong felt like he had lost his composure. Nima's children were all super scion, so how can we adults survive? Let's talk about it first, I won't be weak, Wu Tian. A triumphant smile rose from the corner of his mouth. He he, me too, Sun Wu Tian lightly wiped his nose and gestured for battle. Satan looked at Monkey with a frightened face. His legs shook uncontrollably. He stammered in a voice that only he could hear, it's true. It's true, it must not be wrong. This kid is the son of that guy. Exactly the same, that guy. Has a son. Hey, it seems like. Those blonde warriors from seven years ago. The people who disrupted Mr. Satan's performance. The voices of the audience were not concealed, but were all heard by Sun Wujian. Sun Wujian's expression suddenly sank, he he, causing trouble. Sun Wukong's expression on stage was very awkward. Vegeta looked at Sun Wukong's expression and appreciated it a bit, feeling very satisfied with her taste. On the stage, Ten X and Sun Wujian stared at each other silently, only the sound of boiling flames. Shu, X2. Suddenly, two rapid sonic booms sounded, and Sun Wujian and Ten X disappeared into place. Bomb. In the middle of the distance between the two, Ten X and Sun Wujian appeared at the same time, and they both collided with each other's elbows. The sound that sounded like an avalanche just now was the sound produced by their collision. Sun Wujian's expression was serious, and he kicked towards Ten X. Ten X's eyes froze and he lifted his foot to block Sun Wujian's kick. Bomb. Two people simultaneously forcefully shake each other away while taking a few steps back to stay away from each other. Drink it. With a wave of his small hand, Ten X saw a yellow energy wave shoot out like a shell and sweep toward Sun Wujian. Sun Wujian forcefully kicked the ground with his legs and used his dance technique to jump into mid air to avoid energy waves. Drink. Sun Wujian raised his small hand and fired an energy bullet towards Ten X. Touch. With a forceful wave of his small hand, Fernandez bounced Sun Wujian's energy ball away, stomping on the ground, his body darting out like a shell towards Sun Wujian, and his fist striking him like a phantom. Bomb. The two of them once again transformed into remnants and engaged in fierce collisions in the air, like teleportation. Each collision would leave ripples in the air. The audience also forgot to whisper, their mouths wide open and their eyes wide open as they watched the battle between Sun Wutian and Tennessee. It was a child fight, and they almost knelt down to watch. The two little guys are quite strong, Sun Wukong commented with both hands embracing Xiong, but upon closer inspection, there was a hint of war in his eyes. Uh, yes. Bomb. The two of them separated and tumbled to the ground in mid-air, both feeling a bit embarrassed. After all, both of them have significantly improved in strength after experiencing the Brole incident, almost matching the level of Sun Wukong and Vegeta seven years ago. The two are evenly matched, but that is because Sun Wutian did not transform into a Super 2. 2. Too powerful. Unbelievable. How did they fly in the sky? Is it a stunt? A director wearing glasses shouted at the photographer he brought with him, Hey, don't you have any cameras? Well, the backup cameras are all broken, and the same goes for other TV stations, as well as the cameras and cameras that the audience comes with. It's unbelievable, the photographer forced as he looked at the camera in his hand with some heartache. What's going on? Since we can't capture such a wonderful fight scene, it's despicable, the director cursed helplessly. Sure enough, Sun Wukong and his companions are really amazing. That's why I've been looking forward to them for a long time. With their presence, it's the true number one martial arts sect in the world. The blonde referee clenched his fist excitedly in his heart, and it must be said that after hosting several martial arts events for Sun Wukong and others, his gaze changed a lot. It's quite impressive. Hee <laughs> hee. You too. 
Sun Wutian and Ten X looked at each other with a knowing smile on their faces. So, I have to give it my all too, said Fernandez, staring closely at Sun Wutian with a confident smile on his face.